Hi, uh, Mark is here from Forpas, uh, doing a quick video again on uh, what we call pricing sets. Pricing sets is a feature function on the system that allows you to uh, link certain products together that has the same pricing structures. So that's typically used for items like um, cold drinks or uh, cans of cold drinks, liters of cold drinks, etc., etc. Uh, for today's exercise, we'll just refer to dumpies quickly. All right, so let's go and look at them first of all. Um, you see Castle Lager Dumpy up there is 199.13, cost excluding VAT. And then I've got uh, another one item, Castle Light for 229, and Castle Light Dumpy down here, which is uh, sitting at 89 Rand cost. So the issue is, as you can see, that first of all, my costs are, are all over the place. It's all obviously wrong and therefore most likely my selling prices are wrong as well so let's go and pick a item which is going to be your main or primary item then so let's go and look at castle uh, lager dumpy you'll see that i've already created a pricing set here uh, we're going to have a look at that now but let's just go and look at the details of this item so the pricing group is beers and ciders that i have over here my shrink is set up as one times six times twelve times twenty four my supplier quantity is 24. My cost, excluding VAT, is 199.13. Um, obviously, I have the barcodes of those products. And then the pricing itself, um, I have an override price of uh, 25 Rand for a single. Um, and uh, some other prices here for 1612 and 24. Those are the, the pack size or the shriek sizes that I have. Okay, so let's jump out of there quickly. Let's go and have a look at what we did for the pricing set so stock create edit other maintenance and we do pricing sets so i called my my pricing set dumpies or beer dumpies then and i've given it a name over there and i said the price the primary item is the castle lager dumpy okay um, and if i go back now to my products all right so let's go and look at dumpies again all right so what i want to do is i want to link all of those dumpies together so i'm going to say castle light dumpy let's go and look at that one as you can see the cost here is 229 i'm going to now make it uh, part of a pricing set and i'm going to select from my list there my beer dumpies okay and you'll see immediately the cost has been grayed out here the shrinks have been grayed out the department has been grayed out deposit has been grayed out tax has been grayed out in other words they're all linked to this main item of mine called Castle Lager Dumpy. Okay, if I look at my pricing, the same rule applies. You'll see all the costs here has been grayed out, and the selling prices will now be determined by the Castle Lager Dumpy. Okay, so let's just go back into that item, Castle Light Dumpy again, um, and you can see it's it's all set up correctly. Okay, so let's do the same then for Vintuk Lager. All right, I'm going to tick that as well and say that's also part of the dumpies. Thank you very much. And the Vintuk lights as well. Okay, so, um, sorry, pricing set. Click on the dumpies and we're done. All right, now it will then automatically update for me uh, all those items to be the, of the same set. In other words, all of them will work in the same concept. And that's what we call a pricing set. Whatever I now do to the castle will automatically be done to all the other products. So let's go and test the theory quickly. All right, so I'm going to go into castle lager dumpy, my main item in other words, and I'm going to change the cost there and I'm going to make it argument sake 175 Rand. Okay, and as soon as I do that, the cost of all the other products will become 175 for list cost as well. To check the theory, as you can see down there, list cost 175, uh, they're all correct. Okay, the same applies to selling prices. If I go into Castle Lager Dumpy and I go and decide I don't want to use the matrixes anymore, I want to sell a case of beer uh, for 245, argument's sake, all right, and then the same will apply to each and every item. Let's jump to Vintuk Light, uh, go to the pricing over there, and as you can see, it's also grayed out, meaning it's linked to that other item, therefore you can't change it. That's also now become 245. And that's a pricing set, the long and the short of it. I uh, hope it saves you a lot of time. Obviously, you will apply the same for for cold drinks. Uh, argument's sake, I set up uh, some one liters uh, items here, Coke, Fanta, Fanta grape, 
uh, all the different flavors you might do uh, uh, crest and ginger beer and you might do uh, all the other fanta uh, fanta orange oh sorry not fanta orange but yeah, well, Fanta Orange would be an option, and, and so forth. And the same applies to cans. So you can have another pricing set for all your cans, uh, which is a Coke can, a Sprite can, a, a Fanta, and all the other flavors as well. So you can build the pricing sets to make your whole life a lot easier in terms of maintaining prices within items. Uh, just something else that I haven't shown, which is, might be a good idea. If I do go and change, do decide to go and change uh, the selling price, uh, of an item um, and let's say for instance I change the cost of a selling item I'm going to make that back to 199.30 now okay it will then tell me that okay hang on this is a child of a, a st child stock item of a pricing set changing this item will change all the others so you want to change it if you say yes of course that will become the new cost okay now the same applies when you do a GRV in other words when you do capture purchase from a supplier if you change this item or any one of the items which is part of the pricing set, if you capture the new pricing, it will automatically change all of them to the new costing. In other words, your costings from now onwards will always be 100%. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about it. It's just done. So it does have a big uh, impact on your whole system uh, rather than having to maintain each and every product in your business individually. Okay. Enjoy.